that when you see so many ayats of the same telling you of, for example, Sidi Ram, Sidi Ram, all the time Allah is repeating, you should know that it is extremely important. But before we go into the depth of Sidi Ram, I would like to define what are these two words, Sile Rahm. We, don't, we need to know this. Why it is called Sile Rahm? What does Sile mean? Sile means to join, to mend, to bring together that is Sile. Rahm, I know most of you will say it is mercy, but here it is not mercy. There could be a lot of other types of Sile Ram. Taking a banana skin out from the board so that somebody does not stumble is Sile Ram. Taking out a stone, removing a stone from the roadside, again it is Sile Ram. Shaking hands is Sile Ram. Smiling with somebody is Sile Ram. Doing salam to somebody is Sile Ram. Helping somebody, giving loan somebody is Sile Ram. All these are Sile Ram. But here, Raham means the womb. That means mend the relation, the blood relation. This is what we see the Raham. Actually, see the Raham is this. And it is so much insistent that I have yet to go through a topic whereby I have got so much of text to read here to explain, but I know I will not be able to do it today, so I am just touching on it. But inshallah, if I get a chance at the senior citizen group, I will further say, because this will take a bit to speak of it too, that I finish. Imam Sajjad, salawatullahi wa salamu says two actions were towards which a step is taken is liked by Allah more than anything. Two steps. One is when you prepare rose to pray, wajib prayers. This is very much liked by Allah, but many of us will sit behind till the Imam says, Tadqamat is Salah, then we rush and dump and sometimes even that also we don't get Allah Akbar that already started the Tila to the Aram and that's the time when we reach for prayer on the first line. It is very much like to like Allah when we stand ready for prayer. We are giving priority to say, Ya Allah, I am ready now. So Allah likes very much when you prepare yourself and sit ready for prayers, I would request all those who can come forward during prayers to come forward because this is the thing that Allah likes very much. What is the second thing that Allah likes very much? Is a person who goes to do Sile Rahman to a person, to a relative who wants to do Takara. You go forward, don't see whose mistake it is. You have to forget of this that it was his mistake or forget about these things. Keep your ego behind. Go and shake his hand and tell him sorry what's wrong with it. You are pleasing your Lord. You are pleasing your Lord. And that is the best thing that you can do. So you go forward and say, I'm sorry, or shake hands with him. Men relations, see it, men relate. The Holy Prophet said, there is a section in paradise whereby only three kinds of people can attain this place. There's a section in paradise where only three kinds of people can attain this. The first one is a just imam. The second, the one who does Sidi Raham. Now this space is only for these three. It will be how special it will be. And the third is for him. A man who 
with his family, who has problems, all sorts of problems, but he has patience and he prays to Allah to help him. These are the three people, but just Imam, the one who does Sidi Ram, and the one who has patience in problems. These are the three people who have got, who will get this place in the paradise. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Now look at this, it will surprise you. He said, there is a wrong doer who does everything wrong. Then he goes against Allah. But he has got Sila. And there is a right doer who does everything right, everything correct, but he doesn't have Sila. The Prophet said, Allah's mercy is on the wrong doer and not on the right doer. Amen. Allah's mercy is on the wrong doer. Now I'll give an example here to ease things because somebody, I see many faces going the other way saying how can that be possible a wrong door but I give you an example and you all know about this example. I'll give you an example of Nabi Musa and Firaun. Nabi Musa told Allah, Ya Allah, Firaun is going against you. He is doing shirk. He is saying, Ana Rabbukumul A'la, I'm the Lord of the universe. And you still keep on giving him. You keep on giving him. There's a voice came which said, Musa, I'm your Khalid, you are my Mahdi. In other words, Musa, I am your boss, you are my servant. In other words, Musa, I am the giver, you are the king. I know when to punish throne. But at the moment, the wrong is very subtle. That's why I keep on doing. So you can see, a person who was doing shit, but because of his seal around, Allah kept on giving him. Nabi Musa had prayed 30 years ago that to drown Fir'aun. After 30 years, Fir'aun drowned. When he was drowning, you know, when usually somebody drowns, he comes up first. Because of the water intake that he is taking slowly, it gets filled. So he gets in, he comes up. As he came out, he told Musa, help me. Musa told him, drown. Then the voice came, he said, Musa, if your own would have told me once to get him out, I would have told him. But he asked me, and you told him to go. So he told A person came to the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, I'm tired of the religion. Woman trying to do Sidi Raham, but he wants to do Fatah. I'm so tired now that even I want to break relations with him. The Prophet told him, don't break relations with him. Do you want the mercy of Allah to be moved out from you? The mercy of Allah already is not on that person. And you will become the same person. Continue to do Sile Raham. One day he will realize. Pray for him, Allah to ease. And he will, he will come to you and you will be open with him. Mercy of Allah. Like the touch on the mercy of Allah. Everything that we are doing is mercy. Today I am standing here reading this lecture. It's mercy. You have come to pray with mercy of Allah. You have come all the way from your homes till here in mercy of Allah. The breathing that you are doing is mercy of Allah. The eating that you do is mercy of Allah. Anything good that you are doing is the mercy of Allah. Nobody should tell me that he is clever, that he has earned this much. 
because of his cleverness, it is not his cleverness, it is Allah who is making it. There is nothing, nothing that we can do as we are Ashraful Makhlukat. A small ant gets into our back, we go this way and that way and we are called Ashraful Makhlukat. A small makhluk of Allah gets into your back and you are finished. So you are not clever. Even if you are Hira Hua Dimaq, PhD, that we say. Even if you are PhD, or what qualifications you are, or you are studying in the top university in the world, you are not. Allah is clever. You are not. So think of all these things. Now, Sila Raham, there's so much to say about Sila Raham. But I've got limited time here. I can see Riyadh by already looking at his watch. And then I will have to hear a lot of things when I come out from here. So I better say one more thing on Sila Raham. And inshallah, we'll make another lecture for Sila Raham. So there's so much to say. Sila Raham on spiritual fathers. The Prophet and Imam Ali are the fathers of whom? What the Prophet has said about his descendants, about his progeny, to do Sile Rahab with them. Most of us, many of us, I should not say most of us, many of us, when a Sadat or when a, when a Sayyid makes a mistake, the black government, when he makes a mistake, he say all sorts of things. Is this, is this, is getting more money, is being this, is being this. You know what the prophet has said? Forgive them. I have already asked your forgiveness when I went to Miraj in Sidratul Muntaha. When Allah told me, Habib, ask what you want. I told him, forgive my human all this. So he has already asked our forgiveness. Why can't we forgive them? And look what the Prophet says, the Holy Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam. I shall intercede for four types of people. Even, even if they carry the sins of women. The Holy Prophet says, I shall intercede for four types of people, even if they carry the sins of all humanity. A person who has helped my descendants and progeny. Number one. A person who has helped my descendants and progeny. A person who has spent wealth upon my descendants when they were in need. A person who has loved my progeny with his tongue and heart. Yani, truly love, true love, not not fear. Here different and inside different. What it says, a person who loved my progeny with his tongue and his heart. A person who has considered the wants of my descendants when they were surrounded by enemies and were home. These are the four things that the Prophet says, I will intercede, even if he carries the sins of all the men. Muhammad ibn Ali Muhammad Salwat. I want to come to the Fazir of the Fatima Ali Hassan. Recently we had the birthday on Tuesday. So I thought of saying 44 points. And all this fazilat coming from Allah. We have not realized this. They are coming from Allah. There was a day when the Prophet after prayers, I don't know whether it was Subha prayers, it was Maghrib prayers, it was Zohar prayers, he prostrated four times. After the prayers, he prostrated four times. Ashab came and asked, Ya Rasulullah, why you prostrated four times? 
the Prophet said the first time when I was prophet is when Jibreel brought me this message that, Oh Muhammad, Allah is saying that he has created everything in this, in this world for you. So I prophesied. The second one, he said, I prophesied when he said, Allah is saying that if he had not intended to create Ali, he would have not created you. The third, he said, Allah is saying that if he had not intended to create you, then he would have not created Ali. Mm -hmm. And the fourth one, this is the pivot one. He says, Allah is saying that if he would have not intended to create Fatima, he would have not created both of you. Look at the Albert of Peter. This is one. Number two. In Hadith and Isa, when Jibreel asked Allah, Waman Tahtal Isa, who are those under the crop? Allah could have said, It is my Hadith, it is my Wali Ali, it is the heavenly lady, Fatima, it is Sayyid Shabbi Ahli Jannah Hassan and Hussein. He could have said that. No, he said what? Whom? Fatima tu wa ahuha wa ba'luha wa banuha salawat Allah Allah Salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad He said it is Fatima It is her father Her husband That is so Fatima Look at the aspect of this thing So There is one day That the Prophet was sitting with Fatima And said Fatima you are on the right hundred percent, you are the best lady, definitely there is no doubt about it. But somebody is going to enter Jannah before you. The Fatima got a little down hearted and said, Baba, am I not on the right? Am I not on the right? The prophet said, you are not on the right. But go to a lady who is staying somewhere nearby. Go and meet her. Talk to her. Then come and I will explain you how she is going to go to the So the Fatima goes to that house. Knocks the door. And is asked who it is and says, I'm Fatima with the Muhammad. He said, I would wish to get to him, but I have not taken the permission of my husband to let him go. So Fatima returned back. Next day she went with Hassan. And again, she went there. She reached the Pulvar. And she was told, she said, I am Fatima with Hassan. She said, I have taken your permission, but I have not taken the permission of Hassan. She went back. And the third day she went with Hassan and Hussein. When she knocked the door, she was told that my husband has allowed me to accept anyone from your house, from out of the prophet. And she went in. She talked with this lady. She was a very nice lady, kind lady. She came back to the prophet. When she came back to the prophet, the prophet asked her, how did you find her? She said, she's a very nice lady. Is a very pious lady. She says, then the prophet says, you know, on the day of judgment, when you will be sitting on the horse to enter Jannah, the reins of the horse will be pulled by these type of ladies. They will enter first. Their steps will enter first. Then you will enter. You will be on the horse. Definitely you are number one. But these ones who will be pulling the reins of the they will think. That is how they are going to end. And the last one, look at the Sidi Rahman of the Lord. I've come back to my topic now. On the day of judgment, Fatima will tell Allah, Ya Allah, I am not going to enter Jannah. 
still each and every azadar of my son and the son. I will wait for them, however, how long does it take? Just leave them to wait. Because some of them will be delayed to get into Jannah. We will go into Jannah, but because of the punishment and the sada that we will have, however small it may be because of the mercy of Allah, but we will make her wait, more wait on the door of Jannah. So let us do Siri Raham so that we get our sins wiped off. I will talk in my next lecture the advantages of Siri Raham and the disadvantages of Tatarahan. Very important to notice. In short, Siddharaham increases the life and Tatarahan decreases the life. But there are many other things to say, but I have no much time today. My time is over. Wa aakul dawana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إلهي بحق محمد وأنت المحمود وبحق علي وأنت الأعلى وبحق فاطمة وأنت فاطر السماوات والأرض وبحق الحسن وأنت المحسن وبحق الحسين وأنت قديم الإحسان إلهي بأخص صفاتك وبعز جلالك وبأعظم أسمانك وبإسمة أنبيائك وبنور أوليائك وبدم شهدائك وبمناجات فقرائك وبدعاء صلحائك نسعدك زيادة في العلم والصحة في الجسم وبركة في الرزق وطولا في العمر وتوبة قبل الموت وراحة عند الموت ومغفرة بعد الموت ونجاة من النار ودخولا في الجنة وعافية في الدنيا والآخرة إنك على كل شيء قدير. محمد وآل محمد. سورة المبارك الفاتحة.